Okay, so um, we've been able to draw an object using arrays to hold the coordinates, colors, and the indices that tell you how to connect these vertex properties into faces, to triangles. We used um, the color and vertex arrays in OpenGL in order to s set the data. And then we use the GL draw elements statement to actually construct the primitives and send them down the, the pipeline. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw something a little more uh, detailed than this little toy square we've been drawing. Um, up on the course website I have put some files as, as well as some code. It's not exactly matching this tu well this tutorial, but uh, it, it's there. One of them is uh, called model.h. Uh, if you download it, you're going to get a uh, a 3D model, uh, something like this one. Uh, last time I offered the class, it was a challenge to figure out what the model was. I might try to come up with some different models uh, and, and do a similar challenge. Uh, what you could do is download by right-clicking. You need to right-click and say Save As, otherwise it'll just open it in the browser. So right-click and uh, Save Link As something. Um, you probably want to save it in your project. For me, uh, that's going to be... What's wrong with that? C colon users, Femiani. I don't, I don't know what was going on with that, but uh, model.h. And then uh, add it to the project. So um, this is a header file, which contains within it um, a, a macro that tells you the number of vertices and the number of triangles. And then it, it just has a great big array of vertex coordinates, much, much bigger than the one we saw last time. It has another array of the model uh, triangles also much much bigger than what we saw last time and these are unsigned ints um, I might need to change that to unsigned short uh, we'll see so what we can do in our old main dot C is we can include model dot H hash include and since this is a file that's local I mean it's part of our own project we use quotes rather than angle bra braces when including it and to make sure that the project is set up right if I control and click on it it, it goes to the header file so that's a good sign so now when I draw the object everything should be the same but instead of using these vertices and these colors um, I'm not going to use any colors at all and um, there we go I'm not using the colors and the array of vertices is in this big array called model vertices whoa model vertices and the uh, draw elements, the number of elements I'm going to draw are going to be model uh, triangles uh, times three, right? Because there's going to be three um, corners per triangle, and um, the the data type um, I used was unsigned int. Um, and in draw elements I need to make sure 
that uh, unsigned int is a unsigned byte or unsigned short. So unsigned int might not work there. Maybe I should say unsigned short, which means that I, I need to fix my model.h. This can be unsigned short. Let's save it. So I don't need this array of faces. So now when I draw my object, I'm going to use a, a vertex array and there's going to be three coordinates per vertex. Uh, the vertices are all made of floats. They're packed tightly and this is that array right here. It's an array of floats. And when I actually draw the elements, the elements are going to be pulled out of this array. I'm going to draw them as triangles and um, they're not going to come from an array called faces because it doesn't exist anymore. They're going to come from an array called model uh, triangles. And in fact, this is model not n triangles. That's the number of triangle and this, uh, yes, there we go. Model n triangles, if we recall, was what we had defined to be the number of, of triangles. See, there's n triangles times three different triangles in model triangles. So if we run this, um, then we see our little spider. Um, the center of the screen is at zero, zero. So we can see that the spider goes from zero, zero to about 0 0.50 and also about 0.5 in, in the Y. So if we want to scale and translate that spider to make him show up a little differently, um, we'll leave this alone, but before we draw the object, uh, we can translate and, and scale him. So um, we can start by translating we can start by scaling our reference frame so it's twice as big. So we want to be twice as big in X, twice as big in Y, and twice as big in Z. And that would draw the spider one by one. It's useful to keep... Oh, and also we need to load the identity each time. Once we start modifying the matrix, we need to make sure that we reset it every time. So now when I draw the triangle, I draw the, the spider, he's, he's a little bit bigger, but he looks like he's also been cut, cut off. We'll see what's going on there. So after we scale everything, we want to move to the left by one half. Um, I'm sorry, by one quarter, right? Because he was one half by one half. So to center him, I, I move him to the left by uh, 0 0.25. And I'm also going to move him in the Y, negative 0 0.25. That's one quarter. And, and in the Z, um, I, I may as well also, couldn't tell, because by the way that I, I drew him where he was in Z. So let's draw that. And there's our spider um, centered, not shaded, um, possibly clipped a little bit. Let me move him further back in Z. So there's a little bit of guesswork to figure out where our spider should go. Um, we can also rotate Let's let's rotate him relative to the scaled and translated coordinate system. So let's rotate him before we do all the scaling and translating. Um, and let's rotate him by 30 degrees around the y-axis. 
and we can sort of see how he's a, a spider. Um, there's no shading and no depth. We'll have to cover that uh, a little bit later.